idea of biophilic design is how do we then design in such a way that we embrace nature, we try to bring nature um, into the city. A biophilic building attempts to replace walls and windows and columns and signs and neon uh, with leaves and, and bark and birds and insects. There are benefits of uh, connectivity with nature because I think it's a combined effect of uh, psychological health as well as the physiological health where the fresh air as well as natural light, you know, because that helps the body generate vitamin D. Users also found that in Kutipur Hospital, they experience greater sense of calm and lower stress levels. And these patients also took fewer strong doses of painkillers What we've been interested in is can we achieve this in a high density city? So can we make 100% replacement uh, of the green area of the city? Or can we even exceed it? The most we've achieved is on the OASIA Downtown Hotel where we have 1,100% of green plot ratio. So this means we have 11 times the amount of nature in the building than we would if we had no building at all. We just had the empty site as a garden. Even with just 10% of new buildings having 1,000% of nature, we can quite rapidly retrofit a city to have the equivalent of 100% green cover of the city. As humans, we evolved in nature, uh, surrounded by the natural world. So living in cities is something quite unnatural for us. It seems to be causing a series of psychological and physiological problems. We're actually surrounded by a lot of things that have too much cultural loading on them. Everything that your eye rests on is created by humans. There's a very much a, uh, a geometry that surrounds us that's quite harsh. But when you look at a tree, you can just relax like your eye can rest on it and you can say that's a beautiful form that no one had anything to do with. And it's a way, I think, of being able to turn our mind off all those human aspects and just relax. So biophilic architecture um, does foster urban ecology by creating opportunities for a richer, diverse um, ecosystem. Park Royal on Pickering Hotel has been full from the day it opened. Uh, so many people see it as a place they would like to experience and stay in. Uh, so the gardens have actually become the biggest factor in driving guests into the hotel. And I have to say, it is a wonderful thing to see someone walking down the street, their eyes drift onto the building, they stop dead, they might tap their companion on the shoulder and then they point at the building. And the very first reaction they have is they move towards the building and they just want to go into it. And as an architect, there's nothing more rewarding than that. I think the success of Garden by the Bay is successful in, in many layers. Uh, first of all, it created a space for citizens to, to, to share and to enjoy. At the same time, it's like an urban living room, right? When the visitors come to your city, that, that is the first place they, they visit and then they, they, they learn about your city. Biophilic architecture is the first step towards a, a longer term solution. I think the more green our cities get, in fact, it will start snowballing and the more people will demand it. <laughs>